What's up everyone, my name is Adam Winsink, Account Manager for Nautique Boat Company. Today I'm going to walk you through the 2019 Super Air Nautique G23. This boat has changed the trajectory for wake boats forever and is still the benchmark for wake boat design today. This is the boat of choice for the best wakeboarders and wake surfers around the world and families who simply want the best wake boat experience possible. Let's go see how we made the five-time wakeboard boat of the year and the four-time wake surf boat of the year that much better for 2019. The G23 comes in at 23 feet in length. It's 102 inches wide. It's got room for 16 people. It's a 5,900 pound boat, and it's got 2,850 pounds of integrated factory subfloor ballast. So you get massive wakes and waves without compromising your storage. The boat is also designed to throw the best wakes and waves in the world with the boat in its more natural attitude. That's in a more bow down attitude, so the driver has maximum visibility when he's behind the wheel. So the G23 maneuvers like a sports car and rides through the rough water like a luxury vehicle. But it's all about making big wakes and waves. Here in the midsection of the boat, when you're at wakeboarding speeds and the water's breaking more midsection, it's shaping up that perfect wakeboarding wave, giving you a nice long transition with a nice lip at the top, no matter if you're empty or full ballast. It's great for kids that are beginners or fill up the ballast and you have pro level wakes with the push of a button. As we move to the back of the boat, we have our wake surfing running surface here on these back corners. These corners engage when you slow down to wake surfing speeds and it builds the perfect surf wave. The wave has a super long pocket with a ton of push. You'll be blown away by the power this thing has and it's the perfect shape. It has a nice playful transition with a ton of lip at the top so you can drive off of it. Complementing this amazing hull design to bring you the ultimate wake surfing experience is our NSS, the Nautique Surf System. As you can see, it's fully integrated into the transom of the boat for a nice clean look. The actuator is completely covered up and hidden from the elements. You can change the length and the shape of the wave right from the driver's helm on the Link Pan Array Touch display and it only activates about two inches. So you can transfer from one side to the other instantly. Standard here on the G23 and all of our Super Air series is our Nautique Surf Pipe. This takes the steam and the emissions from the engine, puts it down into the prop stream, so it bubbles up behind the wake surfer, giving you the ultimate experience. It also makes the boat that much quieter, so you can hear your tunes that much better. Another critical feature that makes this boat the top performer is our NCRS the Nautique Configurable Running Surface. That's this device that's built into the transom of the boat that's an extension of the running surface and it has multiple jobs. It provides plain assist, so even under heavy loads, it stair steps the boat right on top of the water for fast planing. Once you hit your set speed, you can adjust the mass and the shape of the wake or wave while you're underway. It also automatically drives the nose of the boat down when you go into a hard turn, so this boat turns on a dime even with it fully weighted. Optional here on the G23 and all of our G-Series boats is our Nautique Integrated Steering Assist. That's this really cool thruster built into the transom here that allows you to dock the boat super easy, maneuver in tight quarters like in a marina, or even get your wake surfer up for the first time. You can control the entire thing from the link pan array, the helm control and the armrest, or you can put it on auto mode and the more you turn the wheel, the more the thruster engages, making this boat super easy to maneuver at slow speeds. If you want to take your wake surfing to new levels, just opt for our Nautique Surf Select option. That comes with this one button remote so the surfer can transfer in an instant from one side to the other. This opens up a whole new realm of possibilities on a wake surfer. You can be surfing front side, hit the button, go over the rooster tail and be surfing backside in a matter of a second. And that opens up a whole new door of tricks that you can do from one side to the other. If you're one that's always looking to get that perfect shot while you're back there wake surfing, you may want to opt for our GoPro ready quick mounts with dual transom attachments. That comes with this really cool GoPro mount that clips right in here to the transom so you get that perfect shot when you're back there surfing. One of the best parts is you can control the entire GoPro right from the Link Pan Array helm display. You can also put it on GoPro Auto Record and as soon as the driver hits the set speed on the cruise control, the GoPro starts recording and when he backs below the set speed, it stops recording, getting you that perfect shot. A big part of the G23 experience is this amazing transom design. 
As you can see, we have a big, luxurious, yacht-like walkthrough here through the center, so you can get from the water into the boat without stepping on any upholstery. But we've also integrated steps, both port and starboard, so you can enter from the dock into the walkthrough without stepping on upholstery. We have a nice three-hatch design here on the G23, giving us a full engine hatch, keeping the heart of the boat from water intrusion. Because our 2,850 pounds of ballast is all subfloor, that gives us the most functional storage in its class here in the transom of the G23. You can put full wakeboard setups and surfers right in the rear trunks. We also have water management around the perimeter of those storage compartments and other places throughout the boat to take all that water from you coming and going, putting it down into the bilge so it pumps out with the bilge pump. As we walk back here to the transom of the boat, you see we have a nice natural step down to the platform. And underneath that step, we have a fully insulated transom cooler. So if you're rafted off with your friends or just swimming around, you don't have to crawl back into the boat to get your drinks. We've got an integrated tow point here in the grab handle, so you can pull skiers every once in a while or tubes if you'd like. And we've also got our optional transom stereo remote, so you can set up your playlist before you go out and ride. We've got a new tower for 2019 here on the G23, our FCTA. It's our actuated flight control tower. It's a fully cast part, so the level of detail and styling is like nothing we've seen before. Standard here on all of our G-Series boats are our Nautique strapless board racks. This is a swivel board rack that's completely over-molded with rubber so it protects your boards from the rack and your rack from the boards. We've got nice wide forks here on both sides so you can put any size wakeboard or wake surfer, both port and starboard. New for 2019 on all of our G-Series boats are our new M6 tower speakers. The ones you see above me are 8.8 inch tower speakers, which have the longest and the widest throw and give you amazing full range sound. Standard on all of our G-Series boats is our Nautique awareness camera. You can see it mounted here in the all around light and it gives the driver a nice supplemental viewing angle right on the Link Panoray helm display. It gives you a viewing angle from tower foot all the way around the back to the other tower foot. And it allows you to see that wake surfer when they're trying to get up for the first time or when you have a full crew in the back of the boat. It also allows you to see people when you're back there swimming. You can turn it on when you're running down the lake or it'll come on automatically when you're stopped. If you're one that likes to get away from the sun throughout the day, you want to opt for our Nautique Tower Mounted Bimini with surf pockets. Not only does this maximize your shade in the cockpit, it also gives you extra surfboard storage for two boards on top of the tower. Right now it's in the folded position with the boot on it, so it opens up the perimeter seating so you can get sun when you want it, and you can also tow it down the road in this position. If you want shade, all you have to do is pull the boot off, open up each wing, and you just pull an arm down on both sides. And now you have maximum shade throughout the cockpit while also maximizing your headspace. The G23 has an awesome seating arrangement here in the cockpit. It's nice and deep thanks to the freeboard. We've got a traditional wraparound seating arrangement when you want it, so if you want to put a bunch of people in here and have plenty of space, you can. If you're riding all day, we have our removable lean back here behind the driver's seat so you can get somebody comfortably facing backwards watching the show. We also have our reversible transom seat here. It's super easy to deploy. And our flip up lean back here on the port side. So now you can comfortably have five people kicking back watching the show when you're riding. In addition to the amazing transom storage here on the G23, we also have a ton of storage here throughout the cockpit. These are communicating storage compartments, so if you had to put any hard goods of any length through to the transom, you could. All the seat bases are on self-supporting hinges here in the G23, so you have no loose cushions. An amazing amount of storage here underneath the love seat, thanks to our G-Stringer system. It opened up these big cavernous storage compartments, so you can put whatever you'd like in there. We also have a full-size trash can here under the love seat, with easy access right here in the walkthrough, so you can keep your boat clutter under control. Another crowd favorite here on the G23 is our in-floor cooler. This boat has a deep freeboard and a deep V-Haul design, so we had enough room to integrate the cooler right into the floor so you could load it at the house, bring it out, drop it in, and nobody's sitting in the hot seat when you're trying to get a drink. A big part of the G23 driving experience is this amazing helm seat design. 
As you can see, it's a race car inspired design with a lot of support here throughout your midsection and your thighs, so you really feel locked in when you're driving down the lake. We've made the lean back taller, so when you're in a bolster up position, you have plenty of back support. And although we've designed it to make it feel like you're sitting in a race car, we also understand how you function in a wakeboard boat. So we've opened this up so you could drop your leg in, pivot and talk to your crew in between sets. Or if you're just hanging out for a break, you can rotate the entire seat and kick back and relax. One of the first things you'll notice when you drive the G23 is how awesome the visibility is. We've got a recessed glove box there on the passenger side of the boat, a low profile dash here on the driver's side of the boat, and we've set all of the instrumentation off to the right of the steering wheel so you can control the entire boat with your right hand while hanging onto the wheel with your left. We've also got a nice storage tray here for your keys or a wallet, a cell phone holder for any size smartphone that also doubles as a drain plug holder so you don't forget to put your plug in when you go back out on the lake. We've got a new frameless windshield for 2019 here on the G-Series by Verilex. It gives the boat an ultra progressive look and it also comes standard with these really cool vents if you want a little more air inside the cockpit. In an effort to give the driver the ultimate driving experience, we've got our ergonomics all figured out. We have a nice wide armrest here that puts the throttle in the perfect position while giving your arm plenty of support. We've also got our helm command. So you can touch the link pan array display or you can control the entire display with this rotary dial right here on the armrest. We've got our hot keys around the perimeter, such as your stereo, user presets, speed control. Every menu has another page, so you have your next page button. And of course, your home button. You can toggle both forward, backwards, left, and right, and you can select by pushing straight down on the knob. Not only is the link pan array touch display in the perfect location on the dash, it's also got an awesome intuitive layout. You can see we're looking at the home screen on the left hand side. The left hand side of the screen is where your main menus are. On the home screen you can control the wake shape and size or the wave shape and size. If you opt for the steering assist option, you can change it from high to low depending on how much load you have in the boat. And if the engine was running, you would have a left or right button so you could manually reach up and adjust the thruster so the boat turns. Or you can put it on auto mode, which is tied to the rudder. So as you turn the wheel left or right, it actually increases or decreases the thrust in that direction. So you can turn this boat on a dime in tight quarters. If we move on to the music screen, uh, this is your music menu. Every boat comes with zone control, so you can decide how much volume you want coming out of what speakers on the boat. It also comes with GoPro integration as standard. So you can control your entire GoPro right here from the link pan array. One of my favorite settings is the GoPro auto record mode. You can turn that on and when you throttle up and hit your set speed, the GoPro will automatically start recording. And when you pull back below that set speed, if somebody falls, it'll stop recording. If we move on to the ballast screen, you can fill or empty each tank manually. You can set the level to whatever percentage you'd like in each tank. Or one of my favorite features, ballast shift. This is a unique to Nautique feature that allows you to level your load if you have too many people sitting on one side of the boat. All you have to do is adjust the ballast by 50 pounds at a time. The ballast will automatically come on and adjust your tanks so you have an even load while you're driving down the lake. If we move on to our lighting and climate screen, you can control your courtesy lights, your overhead lights, and your docking and underwater lights. If you choose to opt for the enhanced courtesy lighting package, this is where you can turn that package on so your cup holders and the Nautique badging in the back of the driver's seat as well as in the transom walkthrough will light up. And you can also change the color just by moving your finger along the color wheel to whatever custom color you'd like. Another cool feature if you're out at night with your friends is you can turn on the courtesy color cycle and it'll cycle through every color in the wheel while you're out there cruising around. If we move on to the user presets, we have our factory presets that we recommend for ballast speed and NCRS or NSS settings. 
and you can also add up to 12 custom users by hitting the new user tab, entering your name and your settings so you have the same experience every time you go out on the water. If we move on to our mapping screen, we have our mini map off to the left hand side that'll pull up the lake and the depth charts of that lake when you're out on it, or you can go full map and see all the detail of the lake. If we were on a big lake right now, it would show you all of the depth charts so you know where to and where not to go. Over here on the right hand side of the screen, we have our switchboard. This is a unique to Nautique feature that allows you to take your most commonly used functions from the left hand side of the screen and put them in a customizable, easy to access menu on the right hand side of the screen. You can put your auto steering assist on there, your ballast shift, your awareness cam, and any of the other features that you use most commonly. My favorite is the awareness cam. You can just pop it right up and see what's going on behind the boat at any time. You can also check on your vital super quick by touching the right bottom tab. We've teamed up with JL Audio to bring you the baddest stereo offered in a wake boat today here on the G23. It comes standard with our M-Series Elite Stereo Package, which gives you six, six and a half inch M6 speakers, which has an even better tweeter than our previous M-Series speaker throughout the cockpit in the bow. We've also got a 12 inch subwoofer here underneath the love seat, and it'll blow your mind right out of the box. If you want to take it to a whole new level, you can opt up for our M-Series Studio Elite Stereo. That gets you everything in the M-Series Elite Stereo, plus an additional 12 inch subwoofer, and our proprietary wave front speakers in the dash. What that does is it brings full range sound with a six and a half inch M6 speaker up into the dash, bringing that sound stage up and it's like turning on the surround sound. It'll absolutely blow your mind. We've teamed up with PCM Marine Engines to bring you the best engine options here in the G23. It comes standard with our direct injected H6. This is our 6.2 liter with 450 horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque, and it's the perfect engine for the G23. And if you want it all, or if you're at high elevations, you can opt up for the motor next to me, the XR7. This is our 6.2 liter with 550 horsepower and 545 foot-pounds of torque, and it's a supercharged engine, which makes this boat simply unstoppable. Our new standard actuated flight control tower is super easy to fold. All you have to do is release the cam latch on both sides at the base of the tower. Release the latch here on the bimini top. And then come over here right next to the driver's seat and push the down button and it folds right back. Once the tower is folded all the way back, all you have to do is push the bimini down, it locks back in, and you're good to drive it into your boathouse, up onto your boat lift, or you can opt for our tower down cover if you tow a long distance to the lake and you don't have to clean all the bugs off when you get there. The G23 has a nice spacious bow seating area with room for up to four people. We've got sea deck around the perimeter of the bow making it super easy to enter or exit the bow. Because we got an integrated subfloor ballast throughout the entire boat, we got a true walkthrough here in the bow, and we also have storage underneath the bow cushions. Of course, everything's on self-supporting hinges, so no loose cushions in the bow. You can opt for our bow filler cushion if you want to have one big lounge seating space. And that also seconds as a walkthrough pad if you want to flip it over. You can drop it in pull this one out and now you have a walkthrough for a boat slip entry or a beach entry and you can also step from the dock to here right into the walkthrough without stepping on any upholstery. One of my favorite options here on the G23 is the Fender Pro. You can tie your fenders at the perfect length to these cool little clips so you're ready for action when you pull up to a dock or up to your friends to raft off. We've teamed up with PCM Marine Engines to bring you the most comprehensive five-year warranty in the game. This includes everything in a Nautique as well as the drivetrain. Our limited lifetime haul deck and stringer warranty is still the gold standard. We build the best boats and we back them with the best warranty. Thanks for joining me to check out the 2019 Super Air Nautique G23. You can see why this is the boat of choice for athletes and families around the world who simply want the best. For more information or to find your dealer to schedule a test drive, go to nautique.com.